Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget um, to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu. If you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe. If you're coming back, welcome back. And yeah, um, you guys can feel free to suggest anything that you want us to react to on this channel. We're down to react to anything. Um, trailers funny stuff tiktoks uh what else is there any videos that you want us to react to as long as um it's not going against anyone or making anyone feel uncomfortable or down to do anything so you can drop the link down below to whatever you want us to react to and we'll be more than glad to react to it remember drop the link down below if you're too shy to drop the link here feel free to suggest on our social media on facebook and instagram we go by Fanny and Jesse. Feel free to hit us up. And yeah, I hope you guys are doing alright. And may you stay blessed. So today I'm going to be reacting to Allah sends this surah after Muslims lost motivation. Without wasting time, let's get into the video. thinking about the 16th ayah of the surah, Surah Al-Hadid. In this surah, this is a Madani surah. By most accounts of the Sahaba, it was already four years in Medina when this surah came down. So Hijrah happened four years ago. The Muslims have gone through a lot in these four years. And one of the problems they've experienced is that overall there's been a, there's becoming a problem in motivation. The Iman is not what it used to be. And Allah Azza wa Jal notices that there are some weak elements in the Muslim community. Even among the, you know, there are some who just became Muslim, they don't realize what they've gotten themselves into. There are some who are suffering from the disease of hypocrisy, nifaq. Among the ranks of the Sahaba, there's not somebody who has a label on their forehead, I'm the munafiq, I'm munafiq. <laughs> They're inside that community and it's a problem. But Allah addresses all of them together. What's beautiful about this surah, even though it is madani, even though it is madani, Six ayat of this surah sound completely makki. First six ayat sound like they're makki in Quran. Sabbaha lillahi ma fi samawati wal ardi wa huwa al aziz al hakim. Everything in the skies and the earth declares Allah's perfection. He's the ultimate authority. He's the one full of wisdom. The ayat, this, this ayat is introducing us to Allah. You would think the ayat that introduce humanity to Allah would happen in makki Quran or madani Quran. Happen in makki Quran. Next ayah, لَهُ مُلْكُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ أَلَا يَعْرِفُ الْمُسْلِمِ بَعْدِ The Muslim doesn't know already. لَهُ مُلْكُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ He owns every, he owns the kingdom of the skies and the earth. يُحْيِي وَيُمِيد He gives life and he gives death. وَهُوَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٍ And he's in complete control over everything. Muslims, fourth year after hijrah. Don't know this? They know this already or no? They know this already. These are ayat that you would think Allah would give to Quraysh. They don't think about the creation of Allah, they don't think about the sky, they don't think about the earth. The Muslim already knows all of this, I told you. But Allah is making me and making you think about this again. So let's start over. Let's start over. And let's start over this time knowing that Allah, knowing that we are Muslim is still telling us this. سَبَّحَ لِلَّهِ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ Everything in the sky declares Allah's perfection. In parentheses, what is wrong with you? What happened to your tasbih? Wa huwa al aziz. He's the ultimate authority. How come my authority is not enough that you don't respect it? Al Hakim. It's full of wisdom. Why don't you trust that the things I'm telling you to do are good for you? Why don't you have any confidence in my wisdom? He says, Lahu mulku samawati wal ard. The kingdom of the skies and the earth belongs to him. Why are you afraid of your enemy? Why are you afraid they have something, they have a weapon in their hand, they have money in their hand, they have power in their hand that will somehow harm you? There is nothing in the skies and the earth that is outside of my kingdom. All of the battle between truth and falsehood is happening inside Allah's kingdom and inside my kingdom. What do you have to fear someone else for? Why are you afraid of anyone else? Lahu mulku samawati wal ard. Are you afraid of dying? He says, Yuhyi wa yumit. He gives life, he gives death. Why are you worried about life and death? He will give and he will take because it's not yours to keep. I don't, you, we call it my life. 
I want to live my life. Who, who says it's yours? Where'd you get mine from? People say, my hand hurts. Is your hand? Well, how much you pay for it? Where'd you get it from? Amazon? Where'd you get your hand from? My life, my hand, my car, my house. What's mine? He gives life. He gives death. He's given you this opportunity and He will take this opportunity. وَهُوَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٍ And no, no, no. He wouldn't do that. No, He can do anything. He's in control of all things. وَهُوَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٍ هُوَ الْأَوَّلُ وَالْآخِرِ He's the first and the last. And this has many interpretations, but at, at the personal level, the first priority, the first thought in your day should be what? Allah. The last thing you leave this world with, the last thing you do before you go to sleep, you think about your master. What did I do for you, my master, today? Me, this insignificant creature, what did I do today for you? I'm going to this bed, and I'm going to sleep, and I don't know if I'll wake up again. And I don't know if I have to stand in front of you after I... Before I wake up, I might have to stand in front of you. My first and my last thought. this because I feel like it's applying to me because I've been lacking like motiv motivation one thing I'm thinking for myself according to my own experience um, sometimes yes you pray but sometimes even when you pray or think about God it's like your faith is kind of shaken you're not believing in yourself but as much as that's the case for some people, not the case for, for others, doesn't matter what the situation is, we all experience things in a different way. But for me, like when I'm not feeling that motivated, I still try to push myself to get something done during the day. I feel like that awakens me up and I get to do whatever I need to do. But before all that, I feel like people, including myself, should remind ourselves of goodness of god first of all we're here we're breathing we're alive we're healthy we're fine show gratitude towards your creator just be thankful for that no matter what you're going through no matter how hard it is at that moment in time to be thankful just remind yourself but i'm here there's nothing wrong with me so i'm thankful for that even if there's something wrong with you just say i'm thankful to be still around here Do you understand so that's what I usually do. I sit myself down, reflect uh, on life and what I want to achieve and everything that's going on with myself. Then from there, I write down the plan to leave this um, bad environment I'm in so that I can develop and do something um, more productive. At the end of the day, um, sometimes, not end of the day, sometimes we have people that are going to remind us and motivate us that that funk that you're in you don't have to be there leave that funky place and move to something greater you're destined for greater things in life just don't sit down and throw your hours away there's 24 hours 24 hours many people are doing things achieving things and there you are just seated idle yes it happens sometimes but don't let it go for more than today you're losing out on many things you're losing sight of sometimes even your calling so don't let that be a way have someone that's going to be uh, remind you and motivate you or if it's a passage or if it's a chapter or it's if it's a book that motivates you always always have that motivation part or just associate with people that motivate you if not people then be your own motivator sometimes if you can't be your own motivator hmm, <laughs> that's a tough one but remember at the end of the day the things we worry about in this world there's nothing there's not, how can I say this? There's nothing too big for God to not solve for us. That's what I believe. That's what I think. And that's what I live by. Whatever issue I have, my creator will take care of it. If not now, if not in the next two hours, it's still going to be well at some point. Let me know what you guys actually think about this and how these guys got motivated. Um... I know I was carried out with talking about personal um, personal issues, but I feel like 
I always love to relate what I'm watching to myself sometimes. That way I get a deeper understanding. I see how that uh, video can sometimes help me and see how I move from there. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about the video. I personally enjoyed watching it. Uh, what did you guys learn from this? And what do you have to say about what was said in this? Because these guys are actually being asked, why do you have to forget that, and that God is above all these things that you're facing in life? Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next reaction video.